The football program is such a level of professionalism. When I see that we're doing the right thing, we're creating the right culture, coaching the right way, we have the right you know, player ethics involved and things like this, and then I see as a result of that, it adds up to wins. And that's, that's what's very satisfying for me. To be honest, football means everything to me. Where I'm from, there's a lot of bad crowd, a lot of bad people, negativity. I chose to focus on football and it made me a better person and it made me who I am today. I mean, Jesse and I have a relationship going back 15 years now. I knew him as a student, I knew him as a player, I've known him as a coach, and um, I've never had anything but respect for, for this guy since day one. He's always been a special dude. I'll be attending Western Carolina University. Auburn. Boise State, Indiana University. University of Pittsburgh. My first big offer. It felt, it felt amazing. It felt like a dream coming to reality. I thought about my grandmother and my mom because uh, they're all for me. Like, my mom died when I was seven, and I'm just, I was just feeling great to show her that I finally got an offer. And my grandmother, too, because she gave everything for me. Growing up, like, where I'm from, especially being a Canadian, being in Canada, you watch these college, these college games and all these college coaches and you would think like, wow, I never had the opportunity to do this. And it's like you grow up and you're looking up to all these bigger people, like these big schools like Penn State and Ohio State and stuff. And it's like, they come to my school. They come to my school now and I see them. When I got my first D1 offer, it was huge because it felt like everything that I was doing, all the sacrifices that I made in the past, like not going out late, doing everything I had to do to be a better man, be a better person, better football player, like paid off. So like it was unreal and I was really thankful for that. I started coaching football when I was 14 years old um, and I just saw the impingement that football and the lessons that football gave to the young kids that I was coaching and and the wins that these kids could have that could help them on the field and off the field and it just to me automatically clicked as something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I mean besides being the head of school here I was also a parent of three students who graduated from Clearwater Academy and my two boys Jefferson and David both started in the early years of our eight-man football program, our flag football program before that. And as a father, I mean, it's very special. It's very exciting to watch your kids play. I mean, that's some of my most precious memories. Um, but again, as a, as a head of school, they're all my kids now, you know? And after my kids graduated, I've been able to kind of put that, uh, that love and appreciation and attention to, to all these other next generation of Clearwater Academy Knights. I see us being somebody to be reckoned with very soon. Sometimes the workouts are real hard, but it's like, I gained 22 pounds in a month. You know, like it's just, we work really hard. It's the best program that like I've ever been in. You know, like I haven't even touched the field yet and coaches have already been looking at me. They just, they just gave me the exposure I needed. 
given me exposure, the best training, the consistency, and everything I needed to go and be successful at the next level. My philosophy as a coach is everything should be very simple. We always say simplicity over complexity. We really want it to be simple for the kids to, uh, you know, from a football standpoint, to be able to play fast. Go! Good. There it is. Good ball. Okay. <laughs> On me, let's go. Take this weekend to rest up, okay? Everybody worked their butts off this week, okay? I want to get the discipline back in on the little things, the helmets and stuff like that. Uh, the water should be at the station, stuff like that that make the practice go smooth, okay? There, there's a lot to being efficient. I tell the kids every day that coaching them on the field is the best part of my day. It's what I look forward to. It's what I think about when I'm going to sleep. Like, hey, this was awesome. Got to coach this kid today. He improved in this. Uh, it's awesome. Like, coaching is not a real job. Like, it's it's fun. Like, I, I love it. I love coming to work every day, uh, being able to impact a kid's life. Um, it's very, very rewarding, and, and that's why I do it. So I, I feel really lucky to have this job.